In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to fill blanks by using an E formula. So what does that mean? Let's say I've got data like we've got in column A. I've got January in A2, then February in A7, then March in 10, and April in 19. So it's not really consistent. And if I wanted to fill this, so in column B, I wanted the information to look like that. Obviously, this is now copied and pasted. So if you've got a few thousand lines, this might take quite a while. So with an E formula, we can solve this problem. So we can ask Excel if that cell is equal to blank. So that's my logical test. So if it's blank, then take the top cell. If it's not blank, then take that cell. So let's just think about this again. So it means that on the first logical test, this cell will not be blank. So it will be false. So we'll just get the value that's sitting there. So let's see what happens if I copy down. So let's go to the cell that's actually blank. So this cell, I'm again, I'm testing if A3 is equal to blank. If it is blank, we'll use the top cell. But the top cell will have something in if there, was, if there wasn't a blank. So that's why this formula works quite well. This formula works down and up, so you must just change your the formula accordingly. So it works really wonders, and it saves you quite a lot of time.